In this video, I'm gonna cover the top five Air Force bases in the United States, at least in my opinion. If you guys disagree, feel free to comment down below what would be your top five bases if you could choose. But I am gonna save the best for last, so you're gonna to have to stick around and watch the whole video if you wanna see all five. So starting out at number five, I'm gonna say McCord Air Force Base, which is in Seattle, Washington. I've never met anyone that was from Seattle or Washington that did not want to move back there, which makes me believe that if you're gonna get stationed somewhere, that's definitely not a bad place to be stationed. Seattle's a fairly large city and has a lot of opportunities of things to do, such as pro sports, which I'm a pretty big fan of, especially hockey, and they have the Seattle Kraken now. They also have an NFL team, and they also have an MLB team. There's also a ton of tourism to go on there, and it's also a pretty big hub for cruise ships. Plus, the scenery out on the Pacific Northwest is gorgeous, so there's tons of hiking if you want to go out of town. There's also tons of ferries that go to multiple islands right off of Seattle. Plus, you're right next to Canada, so if you really wanted to go check out Canada, you'd be able to do that. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're either joining the Air Force or you're currently in, or you used to be in and you're just curious of what my answers were for this. But either way, you probably know somebody that's joining the military in the near future, or you are yourself. And that's why I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Sandbox. Friends and family can send you a letter from literally anywhere. All they have to do is use the Sandbox app, or use the website online, type up their letter and hit send. Your loved one will get tracking. It will include the message that they wrote, a photo if they choose to include one, a piece of paper for you to write a message back. And it also includes a pre-addressed envelope. Nobody likes writing all the addresses on letters. Like that is, nobody likes it. Thankfully, Sandbox eliminates that. All you have to do is add a stamp to that letter and mail it back to your loved one and they get tracking for your letter back to them. That was literally my favorite thing about Sandbox was being able to know when a letter from McKenna was going to arrive in my mailbox. So if you haven't told your friends or family about Sandbox before you leave for basic training, you need to get on that. Be sure to use the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the video. All right, the fourth best base in the Air Force in the United States, in my opinion, is Andrews Air Force Base in Washington, D.C. Now, I will admit I am not a big fan of the traffic in Washington, D.C., but what I did like is that there's so much stuff to do and so much within a few hour drive. So it makes visiting multiple states really easy. You're also fairly close to the ocean. So if you want to during the summer, you can go to some of the beaches there. You're also fairly close to the Appalachian Mountains. So if you wanna go on weekend trips to go hiking, it's easily accessible. Plus it's one of the biggest tourism places in the United States being that that's our capital. So there's a ton of history and museums that you can go and check out as well. Now my third pick would be Schriever Air Force Base, which is in Colorado. Now I actually have never met anybody that's been stationed at this base, but just looking at the geographical area on a map of where this is located, I don't think you can go wrong getting stationed there. Schriever Air Force Base is right outside of Colorado Springs, which is actually where the Air Force Academy is. So there'd be a lot of cool history there and you'd be able to get access to the Air Force Academy and get to see all of that stuff. But also you're in Colorado where all the mountains are, there's great skiing, there's tons of hiking. I'm actually building a camper van right now. So I think that would be an absolutely amazing place to be stationed. And that's why it was number three on my list. The second best base to be stationed at, in my opinion, would be Rand Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. Now, Lackland Air Force Base is also in San Antonio, Texas, which is where Air Force basic training is. San Antonio overall has just always been looked at as a great place to live. There's semi-affordable housing until recently, as all the prices in the market have been skyrocketing. We're trying to get a house in Las Vegas right now. It's been ridiculous. And that's why Randolph is my number two pick, because you get to enjoy San Antonio as a whole but you don't have to deal with the basic training aspect of San Antonio. I'm also a fan of warm weather, so that's why this is number two over the other three that were on my list, because it's in a warmer location. That leads me to my number one pick on this list of best bases in the United States, in my opinion, and that is Nellis Air Force Base, which is actually where I was stationed my last three years in the Air Force. But I have experience living in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is where Nellis Air Force Base is. It's on the northeast corner of Las Vegas, and it's only about 15, 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. One of the things that I love most about Las Vegas is that everything in the whole city, no matter what part of town you live on, where you're going, whatever, it takes 20 to 35 minutes at most to go anywhere. I'm in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, second largest city in Iowa. There's about 150,000 people that live here and it takes 45 minutes to drive across town because the infrastructure here is awful. Las Vegas, 
I became spoiled. Not only are things open almost all the time, but it's convenient to drive anywhere in Las Vegas. And that is one of the biggest things that I love about living there, especially being that McKenna and I in our marriage have traveled to over 30 states together. We've never found a city that we felt was built better than Las Vegas as far as the infrastructure goes. Plus it's super warm, there's tons of hiking. We own a house there still that we're renting out and from that home, it's no joke, 30 minutes to go to a ski resort and 45 minutes to get to Lake Mead, which is actually outside of Las Vegas. So I might be biased because I was stationed there for three years, so I have a lot more experience with that base over other bases. So if you guys have watched this video and you're like, no dude, you are so wrong about what you just said about the top five stateside bases. If they absolutely were terrible and you were there, let me know in the comment section down below because I think at the end of the day, we all have our own opinions. And I think a lot of people would appreciate your feedback if you've been stationed somewhere or you've heard about people being stationed at certain bases, which bases in your opinion would be the best. But stay tuned for our future videos because McKenna and I are both posting our top five jobs in the Air Force, our top five stateside bases in the Air Force, and our top five overseas bases in the Air Force. So you don't wanna miss those. And if we already posted them, make sure you go back and watch them because I'm sure that they're gonna be good information for you. Or at least the comment section is gonna be great because other people will hopefully comment what they think, and then you can get a more well-rounded answer rather than just our opinions. You can get dozens of people's opinions on where the best places are to be stationed or the best jobs are to have in the Air Force. And if you watched all the way to the end, be sure to comment down below that you watched it all the way to the end. I did that on a video like six years ago, and to this day, some people still comment, like, I watched all the way to the end. And I think it's hilarious because like, I forget about that. So if you did watch it all the way here, comment that emoji right there. Just drop it in the comment section and be like, yo, watch the whole thing. Appreciate it. Thanks. See you guys later.